Paul has always been a political hunting dog. Politicians use him to go catch what they think they can eat. And see, when you hear Paul Adamotri rant back, do all those things on TV in the name of saving politicians, protecting his criminal MPP, you should not be amazed or shocked because that is how he was built. Paul Adamotri typically was carved out of lies. Everything about his life is lies. And today I'll prove to you why Paul Adamotri is the most dangerous person we as a country has. We have handed a mic to. Do you know that Toby Afedi paid Paul Adamotri school fees when he was a student at Ghana School of Law? Yes, Togbi Afedi sponsored Paul Adomotri's wedding in 2006 by borrowing him his prestigious BMW car. Paul Adomotri is nothing but a chronic liar and a stomach journalist. This and many more are claims that have been made by Kevin Taylor. And today, the beef is on a different level. Let's get into it. say, <laughs> So a little history to this developing story. Uh, you know, Togbe Afedi, he is the king of the Asogli state. He is an aware paramount chief. He is a highly respected man, a man of integrity, a man who has blazed the trail for this generation and a generation on board. Yeah, that one will be fact. So from 2017 to 2020, Togbe Afedi served as a member of the Council of State. You know, Council of State are the people or the group of people who advise the government or the president on issues regarding the state. So he served. And after the mass service as Council of State members, the government decided to pay them as gracia. It was something way to go on. You know, MPs, ministers, Council of State members, president, when they serve Maragana and they are going home after four years, they pay them as gracia. You know, with small money. So Tugbe, Tugbe Afedi received his ex gracia into his bank account. Upon seeing the ex gracia, he said no. Ghana is suffering. Ghana is going through a whole lot. We will all we know. And the ex gracia is something that is almost 400,000 cities. It is 300, 370,000 Ghana cities. That is old currency, you know, almost 4 billion cities. So he said no. I can't accept this money whilst Ghana is suffering. So he went and paid the money back into the controller and accountant general's um, account. So the government chooses its ex gracia to do developmental things, which is good. This kind gesture by Togwe Afedi, you know they happen. It doesn't easily happen in this country called Ghana. So we all lauded him and I mean it's something good. It's a true act of statemanship. After Togbe Afedi returned his ex gracia back to government, he issued a press statement. You know, so say we all go know what happened. Yes. Very good one. After Togbe Afedi released his uh, 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 press statement, then Paul Adomotri came on his show, his Good Evening Ghana show, Charlie. He come do the man, passa, 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 passa. He said Togbe Afedi only uh, returned the money because of politics, because he's an NDC man and he wants to paint MPP black. He said a whole lot of unpalatable things to Togbe Afedi. Personally, I don't take sides when it comes to politics because politicians, they are all the same. Kevin Taylor say, Charlie, how dare you? Paradomachri, you that will lack integrity. You, who has been a pathological liar since your school days and even a, a, until now, you dare come and uh, insult somebody like Tuba Fede. Charlie, what um, Kevin Taylor said, they be brave. Plenty. I'm not going to waste your time. The video is here for you to enjoy and to listen. But please, Subscribe to this channel, like the video, comment, and share. My name is Iconaka, and this is Go Africa. See you again. Let us read the letter Togbe Afedi sent out yesterday. And in the same letter, or sad the questions to be and we expect Paul Adamotri, that political hunting dog, to respond to these questions. This is what um, the office of Togbe Afedi released yesterday. Now, when you see this, pa, 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 come out. Okay, so that's it. Um, let me take this picture off. All right, let me take this one too off. I'm sorry, I, uh, I have. Yes, so this is what Toby Afedi's office released. And when you read the letter, it was plain English, straightforward, precise. And I expect Paul Admotri, the political hunting dog, 
to come out and answer these questions. Now, after that, you know, I will let Ghanaians know who Paul Admotri is. Paul is a liar. Paul is a sycophant. Paul can kill. Let me say Paul can look on for people to rape his wife. The next day, he'll sit on TV and say, I was at the gym. That's how dangerous that guy is. And I'll prove to you tonight why Paul said, Pick it. Even when you're going to the washroom, take it with you. Paul is dangerous. Paul is a disease. Now, this is what Tobi Afedi um, released from his office after Paul Adamotri deliberately um, tried to soil his image. Some people are saying it's not large enough. That's why I'm going to read it for you to also follow. Um, this is what is in the letter. What is what's in the letter? Uh, my reference number is AS25 volume 5 slash 46. Reference number, blah, blah. Asogli State Council. Press release. Paul Adamotri lied. It's straightforward. Our attention has been drawn to comments and allegations made by one Paul Adamotri in his Good Evening Ghana program on Metro TV on June 7th. Twenty twenty two during his discussion of Togbe Afedi, um, Afedi's rejection of ex gratia payment made to him. We ordinary would not respond to comments from Paul Adamotri knowing who he is. But while we ponder a more suitable reaction, specific allegations he made cannot be ignored. One The numbers Paul Adam Autry presented on Tobe attendance at meetings of the Council of State are both incorrect and misleading and are disingenuous attempts to discredit Tobe's performance at the Council. We challenge him to provide the Council's attendance register from which he compiled his numbers for all to know the truth. So Tobe Afedi is opening himself up. He is challenging you to bring that attendance book to prove to the world and Ghana say Togbe Afedi did not go for meetings. Remember when Togbe was clarifying he serves on different committees. So if Togbe Afedi is not sitting in this committee, obviously he might be sitting in another committee. So his absence here is because of his presence there. And Paul has to get that in his head. Now, the second one is this. The council had three committees, one of which Togbe have chaired, the Economy and Special Development Initiative Committee. And Togbe had an excellent plenary meeting attendance record. Togbe did not, too, Togbe did not take a loan from government. SG Bank offered commercial loans to council members, which Togwe had fully repaid. Paul Adamotrika said, Togwe, a year, Togwe Afedi, a bind loan. And Togwe Afedi had come out, has come out to say clearly he never took a loan from the government and that the loans were given by a year SG Bank. And even with that, he has paid it fully. But Paul was on TV. Lying about things, and remember, he never came on his platform with any document. And and then they be a mekache Ghana for young men and women. Ah, sebi omu omu soma kusku kakra ya pebrofuti. Don't let these people deceive you. They are political hunting dogs. They are feeding their stomachs. They are feeding their ego. They are feeding their lifestyle. Whether you die, they will serve you poison for you to die for them to live. In this Osha Endra drama, no he could not bring one document to say this is what I'm showing to you people, and this is what Togbe had done. He never did it. He just came there to malign somebody. Ah, Onim said that person sometime back was his spine. <laughs> and I'll show you. Me say he deliberately came to lie to destroy a man. Ah, sometime back he was. Paul Adamotri's spine. Four. Togbe did not say that ex gratia payments were illegal. He believes part time work by our senior citizens should not merit ex gratia payment by our poor country. 
and sad statement in a clear or oh, took base first statement ah, or they clarify the reason why he did not accept the ex gratia five finally took by rejection of ex gratia payment is not a partisan political matter and right you who didn't pull out more tree and Se anka asema Paul Admochi kan on hini na on hini biyan anka ufri e ye akan mema anka Paul Admochi will never use the kind of words he used against Tobi yesterday. With all due respect to chiefs in Ghana, about 99% of the chiefs in Ghana, what Tobi Afedi has achieved, they haven't. As we speak, as a nation, we are owing this man. He is genuinely giving us power. If today Togwe Afedi says he's taking Ghana to court to take everything Ghana owes, we will shut some of our power down. So these are patriots. These are people who have decided, even though they are going to lose, for the sake of Ghana, they will still make sure the Ghana machine still runs. So why would a man who cannot sleep in the same room with his wife come on TV without any facts to deliberately make it look like Togbe is doing politics to make it look like Togbe is against the government. This is a presenter at Otikrumha. Ya Babeka said 25 million Ghana cities in the Christian National Cathedral. He never spoke on it. This is a presenter in Ghana. Ya Kache, a year the government to come and account for COVID 19 mania. Ya Dima Ghana for he hasn't spoken on it. But this same political hunting dog wants to. Go after Togbe, who was once his spine. Now, let me show you people something. You see this guy, Paul Adamotri, eh? Why, yeah, a dear boy, Ghana, ma, we are Ghana, yeah, also start to throw Paul. Now, throw MPP, a bino. That is why they are keeping him around. Paul is like a KVIP fly. Every place he sits, he leaves a gem. Let say, Paul, he is like a KVIP fly. Bibia obe sibiano, ujane honka ewoho. And ose ja eye yare. Uja some discomfort. Because deep down, he has been a failure from day one. And everybody knows what has happened to him in the law school. Aye, Bibia will be his level of intellectualism, the level, his IQ does not reach there. Sometimes you see him on TV, fool around, you sit there and say, are you okay? Now, I'm sure my DB, why people like Paul, there are many of them in the NPP. And remember, Paul Adumotri is the go PRO for the Attorney General. He is his media resource person. So, who's a Godfrey? Dami ye bibia, na ye tubi bigo media ni ma. The Attorney General is paying Paul for that. So Paul is not somebody any reasonable rational Ghanaian should sit and say, I am listening to. Do you know what is dangerous about what Paul did yesterday? I'm in trouble. I want to ask Paul Adam Ochre one question before I move forward. Paul Adam Ochre, when you enter law school, start to say Oko Law School, no? who paid your fees. Do you know Togbe Afedi paid Paul Adamotri's law school fees? I want Paul Adamotri to come on TV and say, say, Togbe never paid any of his fees in Ghana Law School. I want him to come tomorrow, whenever he comes on TV, say, Ombe Kanche Ghana for say, Togbe Afedi never took a dime from his own money to take care of him. Time or call law school. Never. He should stand on TV and say that. I'm in China there. Now, who is Eric Buedu? Eric Buedu was the link between you and Togbe Afedi. He was the person who stood in for Togbe to pay your fees in school. I want you to wear the same suit and come and say, Nothing of that sort happened in your life. Those monies were paid at Barclays Bank. High Street. That is where you went to take the money. 
Eho, ena nato gifti ya ufisa, yutiafa. I want you to come out and say it never happened. That's what I'm asking. Do you know Eric Buedu? Because he's your link, man. Togbe took care of you in school. Me ma o bank, no sene be a di receipt. Obe ma answer na me mo, me chow receipt, you understand? E ye, Barclays Bank, High Street, that is where they were paying your school fees. Togbe afedi we ya, was the one paying your fees. Now, my mentor, my dear Bakubia, Emma Paul, you're a dangerous guy. Nobody should take that guy serious. Or a demon, or a dangerous. He's an ungrateful disease of a fly. And my catch them over and over. Now, see this. You see this wedding? Paul, I don't want your wedding. And this is his wedding picture. I'm going to put this on the screen. Now, my friend Paul, whenever he comes on TV, that Kevin Taylor said this. Share it. That is it true or false? See this. You see this car? This is Paul Adam Oche's wedding car. Togbe Afedi borrowed Paul this car. Togbe Afedi gave Paul Adam Oche his seven series for his wedding. So this guy doing this, Entina Uti or Mom say he is following his stomach. It's a dangerous guy. Messi Mushia said, This guy, GR 2673 Q. This was the car, Paul, at the end wedding. He went to Togbe Afedi. Togbe borrowed this car. On the man. This is Togbe's BMW. Seven series. Paul at your wedding. This is the car he drove in. You should come on national television and say it never happened. I would have said a lot of things against the soul, but after I checked and the things I have, I'm looking at, it's not worth it. The only thing I can tell young Ghanaians, young people watching me, some people are demons. They are dangerous. Paul and Kanokre. If you're young and you're listening to me, these are not the people to listen to if you want this nation. He's just working for the MPP. He will kill. Me say Paul can walk into his room, see somebody raping his wife. The next day, he will sit on TV and say he was in the gym. That is why he doesn't sleep in the same room with his wife. So you need to be careful. The kind of people we, the young ones, are listening to me say, Mushana, ask him, said this car, or the end wedding, and why no Koji one ho? But he sits on TV today because of politics to denigrate a man who fed him like a chicken, a man who fed him like a dog. Why? Because or your MPP knee.